Hey guys, it's Nick from Bitcoin Magazine here, and for today's video, I'm going to show you how to use cold card on a mobile device using Blue Wallet. So let's just get right into it. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take an SD card and we're going to plug it in to our cold card because we need to go down to advanced and we need to get a skeleton wallet of Electrum and put it on here. So then we can then move it on the Dropbox onto our computer. So we're gonna go to micro SD card, export wallet, Electrum wallet. And then this just says it's gonna save a skeleton file of Electrum wallet on the SD card so that we can use it later. Now here you have legacy and then two different SegWit options. You don't want legacy. You don't want the first SegWit option. You want native SegWit, which is the third. So we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom, hit that and it's generating the file. And there it is. The Electrum wallet file was written and it's called new-wallet-json. You scroll down there's really nothing here and that's all we had to do so we can back out all the way to the beginning and that's all we have to do for this step and now we're gonna plug it into the computer and sync it with our Dropbox so after that we're gonna take the SD card out we're gonna put it in our adapter some computers don't need this some you may need this I got this at Best Buy for like 20 bucks and then we're going to plug it into our computer. And as you can see, the SD card is on there with the new wallet.json. And then I'm going to move to the computer for uh, so you can better see it and we'll continue from there. So real quickly, all we got to do is open up this, take it and drag it to the Dropbox. And now that it's in the Dropbox, we're all done and we can open it up on our phone and get to the rest of it. So this next step is super quick. We're just going to open up Blue Wallet on our device, let it load in. And we're gonna hit add a wallet and then we're gonna import a new wallet and we're gonna import it from our Dropbox and we're just gonna hit new wallet. And it's gonna take a second to load in, but it won't be too long. So now that the wallet is imported, well, it's importing right now. Alert, your wallet has successfully been imported. Now that we've sent the wallet some Bitcoin, we're just gonna click on it and then hit send. And then we're gonna move the fee down. I'm just gonna move it down to one sat per byte. You can change it to whatever you want. And then I'm just gonna put in the max amount of Bitcoin. And then I'm gonna copy and paste my address that I'm sending it to. And then I'm gonna hit next. And then we're gonna export this file to our Dropbox so then we can then open it up on our computer, put it on the SD card and then transfer it to the cold card. And it's just that simple. After that's all done, all we gotta do is plug back in our SD card, open it up and we see in our Dropbox, here's the transaction. So all we're going to do is click and we're going to drag it over to the SD card. And now we can see it's here on the SD card. So now we're going to take out the SD card and sign it with our cold card. 
So now we're just gonna take the SD card out of the adapter and put it into the SD card like so. And now we're all good to sign the transaction. So we're just gonna hit ready to sign. And it's gonna go through the details. Do you wanna send X amount of Bitcoin to this address? There's the network fee. Then we're just gonna press the okay button. It's signing. And there we go. It's all signed and ready to go. So now we're gonna put it back in that we're going to put the SD card back in the computer and go from there. So now we're almost done. All we got to do once you plug back in the SD card and you load it up, you'll see a final transaction and a sign of PSBT. What you're going to want is the sign PSBT and all you're going to do is just click and drag it over to your Dropbox. And now that it's in there, we're gonna get back on our device and sign the transaction. And uh, I'm not sign it, <laughs> I meant broadcast the transaction. So the very last step for this is to uh, broadcast the transaction. So we're just gonna hit open sign transaction, locate it in our Dropbox where it says signed and click on it. And then it's gonna open it up you can see all the data there and then you just we are just going to hit send now and that is it your transaction's been broadcasted to the blockchain and one quick thing i didn't mention how to do this earlier but it's really simple to receive bitcoin you just hit receive down on the bottom next to send open it up and then there's your address to receive Bitcoin. You can either type it in or scan it via the QR code. And that's pretty much it. That is how you use cold card with your mobile device using Blue Wallet. If you liked this video and enjoyed it in any way or it helped you in any way, please leave a like and subscribe and comment if you haven't already as well as follow Bitcoin Magazine on, on all our socials and uh, stay up to date with all the latest news in Bitcoin by following our articles on BitcoinMagazine.com. And yeah, peace guys, see you in the next one.